in my name. Uh -huh. I am the Midis. Amen. When you come here, it is in no There is an anointing that you pick when you gather together with other believers. There is an anointing, there is a blessing that you pick when you come together. There is a blessing. The Bible says that where my presence is, I command a blessing. Hallelujah. Therefore, it is not in vain to be in the house of God. Amen. And in our ministry, mm. in Elohim Embassy Church, mm. we say that we partner with the word of God yes. and the ministration of the Holy Spirit. Mm. I want you to turn to your neighbor. Today, we're going to do a talking. Today, Amen. we're going to talk. Amen. And so, any demon uh -huh. that is shutting your mouth, oh, yes. I arrest it now. Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So turn to your left, turn to your right. Make sure you have a neighbor. Amen. And so we partner with the word of God. Tell yes. them we partner with the word of God. We partner with the word of God. And the ministration of the Holy Spirit. And the ministration of the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you. Allow the Holy Spirit to minister Allow to you. Allow the word of God to minister to you. Allow the word of God to minister to it you. It is not in vain you came in the house of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In this year of radiating forevermore. Mm. In this month of dealings of God. Hallelujah. Has God dealt with you? Mm -mm. Has God dealt with you in the previous week? When our Father declared that allow God to deal with you. Has mm. God dealt with you? Oh, Masa Kotora Bagade. Has God dealt with you? God has dealt with me. God has dealt with me. Amen. And I am happy to be in the house of God. Amen. I am happy to be in the house of God. Amen. And so our Father taught us and opened the realms for us to understand the dealings of God. God has to deal with you so that He brings forth that which he has assigned in your life in one way or the other he has to deal with you Amen. and the characteristics of the spiritual dealings he said if one can remember I want us to engage I might be far but I want us to engage he said it is personal Jesus summoned Peter only you remember when he said that even when even when he said that in three in three times you would have refused me but still God dealt with him in that season I want us to read in the book of John 15 21 to 24 the book of John 15 21 to 24 John 15 21 to 24 the Bible says mm -hmm. but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake mm -hmm. because they know mm -hmm. not him who sent me mm -hmm. if I had not come and spoken unto them they had not had sin but now they have no cloak for their sin amen amen Amen. Amen. So God has to deal you that sin will not exist no more by his grace. Mm -hmm. You know, he allowed Christ to come. He allowed himself to come in flesh so that you and me can obtain what he needs us to obtain in the end time. Can obtain what he wants us to obtain that we may fulfill the calling Amen. of us having an, an internal life mm -hmm. and therefore it will be personal mm -hmm. at times it will be personal there were the top disciples uh -huh. there were the three disciples yes. who were around Jesus mm. but he chose Peter uh -huh. and he said upon this rock oh, yes. I shall build my church oh, yes. and so sometimes it will be a journey on your own mm -hmm. sometimes it will not be around people it will not be around your family it will only take you as a person. Amen. 
And so it will be personal. Amen. When it becomes personal, embrace it. Embrace it. Mm. Embrace it. Mm. Because the Bible says that joy comes in the morning. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And he said it's a period of separation. Uh -huh. Characteristics of the spiritual dealings. Mm. He said that it is a period of separation. There are times in your life that friends will not matter. There are times in your life, even when you don't want, even when you think that you can associate yourself, God will separate you. God will put you in a place where you're separated. Because he wants to deal with you. He wants to deal with your character. Amen. There are times you'll find yourself in wilderness. It might be in your business. It might be in your calling. It might be even your personal life. Mm. As a family. Teach us, woman of God. But when he separates you. Oh, yes. He separates you to mold you. Mm. He separates you to make you that which he called you to be. Amen. So when that season comes. Mm. Prune your association. Prune your association. Do not become a stiff neck. Do, do not become a head headed. You have to allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you, to know and discern seasons in your life. Seasons in your life. And so it requires ferocious and focused study. You must give yourself deep search in the scripture. You must give yourself deep search in the scripture. Today in our intercession in the morning, I heard that where are you standing? Where, where are you believing God? Where, where, what is the scripture that you are standing on? So when God deals with you, do you understand his word? Do, have you allowed the Holy Spirit to deal with you? Have you allowed the Holy Spirit to minister to you to understand seasons and times in your life? Oh, yes. Have you allowed the mm. Holy Spirit to minister to you? Amen. So Amen. in that season, it is a season that you have to allow God. You have to allow the scriptures, the word of God to minister to you. Amen. And so the word of God has to be inside of you. The word of God has to be inside of you. The word of God has to dwell in your midst. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Oh, I Amen. love the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so he will take you into a place of consistent and fervent, intense prayer. Amen. How many love prayer? How many love prayer? I want to see by the show of hands. Mm. How many love prayer? We love prayer. How many love to petition? How many love to supplicate before God? It is a time where you in your closet, you and your God. There's nothing good when you're in the presence of God by yourself. Not in front of people so that you may not be seen. But when you're in your closet... In a place where nobody knows what is happening. Nobody knows the baby in the belly. Nobody knows. But it's only God. And so God will take you through seasons that will make you be in a place of prayer. Be in a place of fervent prayers. In a place where you have to travel. In a place where you will be consistent in prayer and so there are seasons there are realms of prayer there are realms that the prayer can take you there are realms there are dimensions that prayer can take you so allow God allow the Holy Spirit you know when the word of God is active in you sometimes you will just be in your workplace sometimes you will just be in your workplace and you mention something. You don't even know. 
you mentioned something mm -hmm. and that time you're ministering to someone my god and sometimes you've been in your workplace or even at home or even taking your children to school and then the holy spirit will burst in you you just find yourself you're spoken something oh yes come at that time the holy spirit is ministering to you in that day amen and so it requires also deep brokenness amen amen i like it when i am broken mm. i like it when i am broken when you're broken there are things that cannot take place and there are things that cannot take part in your life there are things that cannot afford to stay pride cannot afford to stay when you're broken uh -huh. hate cannot afford to stay when you're broken uh -huh. envy cannot afford to stay mm. when you're broken so allow god to break you there are seasons there are things that god will allow sometimes to those who have children if it might be just one child in your amongst your kids that cannot even listen to you but that one that thing will push you to a place of prayer when you go to a place of prayer that is when god molds you god deals with you god ensures that you are broken in his presence even that which is in you in anza kutoka praise the name of the lord amen hallelujah amen and so it also a time of strange instructions is it it is a time of strange instructions when god deals with you when god deals with you and you are broken and you become to a place of humility you come to a place of humility you'll be able to hear god you'll be able to follow his instruction when he says move to the left you do when he says move to the right you do when he says move to the front you do when he says don't do it you don't do it so god will take you through will deal with you amen and you come to a place where you will receive instructions sometimes you, it look like it's stupid in the eyes of people sometimes there are things that our father in the lord Teach or our mom in the lord does oh, yes. mm -hmm. and then you even wonder what were you even thinking uh -huh. do you think what you're doing is right but let me tell you the holy spirit ministers to you alone and you see that he was in the spirit even before you arrived my god hallelujah amen praise the name of the amen. lord amen so when god deals with you there are seasons in your life you will receive strange instructions not amen. normal mm -hmm. not obvious oh yes strange instructions. instructions amen strange instructions amen you will you be told to do something you've heard men and women of god say says that and i was told to give up my car like our father says you can imagine something that imagine it is your first car imagine it is your first car or imagine it is your first income and god says that that is a fast fruit i need it it doesn't make sense and that time you need to pay rent that time you need to sort out your your workers it doesn't make sense but you will receive an instruction and says i want you to give this amount and to exact that is the amount that is in your account so if you don't honor god he will not take you to another dimension my god but when you honor god in his instructions he takes you to another dimension Amen. he lifts you Amen. he pushes you to doors and realms that you never imagined Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so another characteristic is characterized by unexplainable attacks and happenings. God does it intentionally. God does it intentionally. God 
does it intentionally. You might say, why is my life like this? I am honoring God. I have given out my seeds. I have given out my tithings. I have given, I have offered myself. But why is it it is happening this way? It is not even a retaliatory spirit. It is nothing of, of the enemy. It is nothing. But God allows those happenings Amen. to happen to you because there's something that he wants to birth. Amen. Amen. When God called our father in the Lord Abraham, he told him, come out of your home. I want to take you to a place, to a land. And when he was in that land, at some point God appeared to him again. And he told him that your, your, your generations to come, they will go into a land and they will become slaves there. But I, the Lord, will come and redeem them. So whatever was happening to Israel, it was an intent of God. It was an intent of God. And Israel is the perfect example for how us as a church, for how we should live. Because God allowed them to go through whatever they went through. So that when you read the word of God, it will not be strange to you. Amen. Whatever is happening to you, it will not be strange to you. It will not be strange to you. Oh yes. Because you will be encouraged by the word of God. The Bible says that he is our strong tower in times of trouble. So when he allows these dealings, when he allows these things to happen to you, are you able to stand? And are you able to refuse evil? When you're going a season of lack uh -huh. and somebody comes and tells you, I offer this, mm -hmm. which is not godly, are you able to say no? Oh my God. Mm. Are you able to say no? Mm. Or you will just be like, you know God, you can understand. Uh -huh. mm? Mm. You know God, you have to understand. Mm. Oh, yes. How many people have left the ways of God and they have gone to the worldly things just because they, there was a season in their lives mm. that they could not withstand mm. there was a season in their lives that mm. they could not allow God to deal with them oh my God. how many times even you yourself even I myself how many times that God wanted you to be faithful oh in one way or another but you refused to Oh, Jesus. we thank God. We thank God because he has dealt with us. Amen. Now we know. Amen. Now we know. Amen. I say now we know. Hallelujah. Now we know. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so when God deals with you, there are things that we need to come out from. The Bible says that you cannot go into a house that is full of treasures. My God. Before you have dealt with a strong man. Uh -huh. The other Sunday, our father in the Lord was speaking about strongholds. And what is stronghold? Stronghold is something that changes your belief system. Mm -hmm. You start believing that it is okay for me to be this way. It is okay for me to be rejected. Uh -huh. It is okay for me to be reproached. Jesus. It is not okay. You're a child of God. Amen. It is not okay. Amen. And so the examples of strongholds, it's like fear. Uh -huh. It's like doubt. Uh -huh. It's like negativity. They're just people. You might be in a circle of friends or, in a, or even in your family. You hear people say a toxic family. You hear people say toxic friends. You're just around, around people and you're a child of God. Instead of coming out oh and God. saying, I am not going to be in this place mm. anymore. They change or my I walk God. away. My God. So you allow those negativity. You mm. allow those things oh, yes. to change your belief system. Oh, yes. You might not even understand that it is happening to you. But by the time you know it. You're already in another place that you're dancing with half naked, that you're doing things that are not godly. 
okay? So it is not something that happens immediately. Uh It's something that constantly, Uh constantly, constantly. Mm. Today, you compromise a little. Tomorrow, you compromise. The next day, by the time you know it, you've compromised 100%. And so God is dealing with us. God is dealing with us. God is dealing with every stronghold in our lives so that our belief system can change. Some of us or some of you come from a place where poverty or even marriage is not even known. And then you just think it's a normal thing. You just think it is a normal thing to be barren. It is a normal thing that your business is not moving. It is a normal thing that you are the last in class. It is a normal thing. It is not a normal thing. It is a stronghold. It is a stronghold that has distorted the patterns of God inside of your life. But praise to be God. And praise to be our Lord and Savior. That when we are born, when we are born again, everything has to change. The Bible says that He makes all things new. So you have to stand. You have to stand in the Word of God and say, Father, I stand as your child. When I accepted you to be my Lord and Savior, to be your child, I accepted you to deal with me. I accepted you to change the course of my lineage. It is not normal. The times you just look into your life or you look into your family, you see a certain pattern. A certain pattern. And that pattern, if you're not aware, or if you, know, if you do not come, or you do, if you do not become aware to yourself, it's us, it's us also governing your life. Governing your life. You get money, you cannot account for it. You get money, you can't account for it. You go to places that are unawares to you. You step into altars because there's something that is just taking you there. There's something that is just controlling you. There's something that is just telling you, let's go. Let's go. Let's do. Let's do. You find yourself into a deep pit of altars that are not godly. Reason being, it is a stronghold that is in your family. There is an altar that you need to deal with. Do I have a witness who is saying, I arise in the name of Jesus and I cancel every stronghold by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And so what alters any stronghold that is operating in our lives? What can alter any stronghold? How we perceive the word of God. How we perceive the word of God. When the word of God comes to you, do you receive it? When the word comes to you, do you practice it? When the word of God comes to you, do you live by it? Does it become your lifestyle? When the word of God comes to you, or do you just say it is the word, and then you become like the seeds that fell on a stone, and the birds of the air came, and they took it away? Or do you allow the word of God to change you? Our perception must change in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, my perception must change. My perception must change. Towards the word of God. Towards the word of God. My lifestyle. My lifestyle. Has to resemble. Has to resemble. And I have to live. And I have to live. In accordance to the word of God. In accordance to the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. When the word of God begins to When the word of God begins to change you as a human being, you yourself, you even find your finances are changed. You find your marital status is changed. You find your children are changed. Because you have been transformed yourself first. It is you first. 
then everything around you oh, yes. becomes transformed. Oh, yes. Everything around you Hallelujah. takes the pattern of Christ. Hallelujah. Clap for God Praise somebody. the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Put your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, let me say this. When our Father in the Lord or any minister says to you that turn to your neighbor, do you know uh -huh. that you need a man to bless you? My God. Do you know you need a man? You need a human being to bless you. God will not, you will not come from the throne and bless you. Uh -huh. You need a man to tell you, I bless you. We need our spiritual Father to lay hands on oh, us. Yes, we, you need your neighbor to tell you and turn to your neighbor. Uh -huh. You need a man. Amen. So, do not allow the enemy to shut your mouth. Amen. Do not allow the enemy to shut your mouth. Amen. Our father says that, are, are those hands affected by an infection? When we are told to put our hands together for our Lord Jesus. Imagine the king of kings and you're clapping like this. God help us. Put your hands for our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your hands for our Lord Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. So what alters also the strongholds? It is the character of Christ. The character of Christ. The character of Christ. You know, when you become born again, you start living by his character. If you used to go like this, and he tells you to turn like this, and you walk like this, you start walking the way he walks. You start doing the way he does. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. So his character transforms us. If God, if Christ walked in humility, you also walk in humility. Mm -hmm. If Christ walked by the word of God, My the Bible God. says in the book of Luke 4, 18, mm -hmm. and the word of God is upon me Amen. to release uh -huh. those who are in bonds, those who are in captivity, into freedom so when you have the character oh, yes. of christ Amen. whatever is is bonded in you uh -huh. whatever wicked bonds whatever yokes whatever uh -huh. straps of oh, yokes yes. they begin to lose oh, yes. because the character of christ cannot hold that uh -huh. my god teach us woman of god the character of christ cannot hold that mm. another thing that can alter strongholds it is his promises his promises there are so many promises in the word of God so for you to actually live right in Christ the word of God must be your friend the word of God must be it is not an excuse we are always asked, have you read? You don't read the word of God, you want to be blessed. Uh -huh. You don't know his promises. He says, I will bless you. Uh -huh. huh? Whatever is of the wicked, I'll take it away and give it to you. Oh, yes. But you don't know that. Uh -huh. So when you go in a place of prayer, you cannot stand in that word and say, Father, Lord, you declare oh, yes. in your word. Oh, yes. So Amen. the word of God mm. must be your friends must be the word of God so that you know his promises. Oh yes. The Bible says that his promises are true and amen. amen. Are ye and amen. Oh yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What else can alter the strongholds? Who we are in him. Who, who we are in him. Do, do you know who you are? Do you know who, who you are? Do you know who you are in Christ? Ama tu unamka subui, unenda kazi, unarudi jioni, unakuta kanisani, unenda kwa marafiki. Do you know who you are? Do you know when you enter places, the realm should change? Do you know when you enter? Do you know when you're in your family? That many may speak because of what they have. But when you enter there, because of what you carry, the oil of God, the anointing of God, 
who you have become in Christ must speak, whether you speak or not, whether you speak or you're in silence. Do you know who you are in Christ? The Bible says that he has made us priests and kings. Do you know who you are in Christ? And so, another thing that can alter strongholds is the authority we have in him through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The authority you have in him through Christ Jesus. The day you said, Lord, I accept you as my personal savior. I sinned, but I, 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 I come out of sin and I follow you. Do you know the authority you, you carry when you follow God? Yes. Do you know how he backs you up? Do you know? Do you know when he backs you up? The, the Bible says that when we are in his dwellings, he is our habitation. We are protected and we are defended. There is no attack. There is no arrows that flies by day or the noonday or by night shall come near your dwelling. Do you know the authority you carry in Christ Jesus? Do you know the authority you carry when he was hanged on the tree? And the resurrection power. The Bible says that, that we have been given, we have been resurrected together with him. We are seated in high places. We are not just seated here. So sometimes there are things someone can do to you. Sometimes there are things that you can go through. But you stand and declare, I put an end to this. In the name of Jesus. Because you know the authority you carry. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to hear your amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So in all this, you have to guard your doors and your gates. Our Father in the Lord last Sunday asked us, do you know you have doors? Do you know you have gates in your life? Do you know your eyes can be a door? Do you know your ears can be a door? Do you know your hands can be a gate? My God. So you have to guard Amen. what comes in and what goes out. Oh, yes. Jesus said to the disciples, and out of your hearts, the living, of, the living waters shall flow out of it. And still the word of God declares that out of your heart, out of the countenance of your heart, the mouth speaketh. Praise the name of the Lord. I want us to look in the book of Ephesians 4.30. In the book of Ephesians 4.30. Ephesians 4 13, the Bible says, 4, 30. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, mm -hmm. where, whereby you were sealed unto the day of redemption. Mm -hmm. Let all bitterness and love mm -hmm. and anger mm -hmm. and clamor mm -hmm. and evil speaking mm -hmm. be put away from you mm -hmm. with all malice. Amen. Amen. So you have not to feed the flesh, but feed your spirit. Amen. Feed your spirit with the word of God. Feed your spirit in a place where you've been secluded in prayer. Feed yourself. Have you separated yourself? Is there a time that you've allocated in the day that I need to be with God? I have woken up, I've gone to work. I have, wo I've woken up, I've gone to, done my, uh, to do my businesses. But in that, in that moment, or in that hours, have you separated an hour for God? Have you separated yourself so that in the place of prayer, I said in the place of prayer, 
you're transformed. Amen. In the place of prayer, you're Amen. changed. Amen. In the place of prayer, you Amen. feed your spirit. Amen. You feed your body with the, bo with the food that we eat. Amen. But your spirit needs to be fed Amen. daily. Amen. The same way you wake up in the morning, Amen. eat breakfast, eat Amen. lunch, and eat dinner. So you need to feed your spirit. Amen. So that the strongholds, the patterns of any stronghold in your life, in your family line, will, ha will not have an access. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And so when God deals with us, we become Christ-like. The intention is for us to become Christ-like. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us go in the book of Psalms 119. Psalms 119, 71. The Bible says, the heart is as fat as a grease, but I delight in your role. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn your statues. That I may learn your statues. Amen. That I might learn your statues. Amen. In this season, it is a season where the servant of God, David, God was dealing with him. God dealt with him before he even made him a king. He dealt with him when he was a shepherd boy. He dealt with him and he brought him to a place of kingship. And when he brought him to a place of kingship, before he brought him to a place of kingship, he had to deal with him to teach him how to My walk. God. Oh, yes. So when God is dealing with you, mm. He will teach you how to walk. Amen. He will teach you how to walk. Amen. According to the plans or according to where he is taking you. He has to teach you from somewhere. Oh, yes. Do not neglect the humble mm. beginnings. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not neglect the humble beginnings. Allow God to teach you. Oh, yes. Just because somebody is somewhere, don't push your life to that. Yes, Emmanuel. Don't push it. Oh, yes. Allow God to walk with you step Amen. by step. Don't Amen. use things that will separate you Amen. from the love of Christ. Mm. That will put you in a place for a moment mm. or a season, for a place of victory for a moment or a season, and then afterwards, God lives. Jesus. God deals with you. Amen. And therefore, he dealt with David. Mm. He placed him in a place where of war. Uh -huh. He had to deal with Goliath mm. so that he knows how to deal with Philistines. He had to deal with his own character. When he looked at Uriah's, Uriah's wife with a lustful eye and he took it, he took her in. He took her in as the wife, but God ensured that he dealt with him. He dealt with him. And therefore, there are times when God will deal with your character. You as a person, you have a certain character. And our father said that, allow God to deal with you in love. Don't be stiff naked that God has to use a whip somewhere. Don't be stiff naked. Don't allow your neck to be stiff. That you cannot hear God. That you cannot allow God to mold you. It doesn't matter what kind of weakness you have. Even though he does not entertain weaknesses. Allow his love to deal with your weakness. He dealt with David. He dealt with David. Hallelujah. He dealt with David. There is a season in his life when the child had to die. And in that season, it is a season of grief. Sometimes 
when you're in, in a grief season, there are things you, you, you are vulnerable to anything. And so the enemy can take chance. The enemy can take chance and even ruin your life more in the grief period. But God dealt with David. He dealt with him. And he said, why should I fast? Is it not for the honor and glory of his name? His statues. In the book of that, the verse that we have read, that I have allowed him to deal with me. I delight in his dealings. I delight in his dealings. Do I have somebody who says, the Father, I delight in your dealings. Amen. Amen. I delight in your dealings. And so in that season, God dealt with him. He brought him to a place. He brought him to a place of kingship. Even in his weaknesses. That even today, we, we say that we have a genealogy of our Christ Jesus. In his kingship, the Lord set at his kingdom through David. And so it doesn't matter. It does not matter. It does not matter who you are, where you're coming from, the, the way your life looks like. Can you imagine? He brought a shepherd boy from a place of taking care of sheep to a place of governing, to a place of kingship, to a place of priesthood. Even you, God will take you. God will raise you. God will lift you. God will lift you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God will lift you. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So God lifts us and takes us a path or a pattern of life that in the end of it all, even though it's an ensuring us to live a purposeful life, the end of it all is eternal life. The end of it all is eternal life. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The end of it all is eternal life. Amen. He gave him a friend who was called Jonathan. When he was teaching him the ways of being a king, David in his own nature, being a shepherd, would not just have come from taking care of sheep, to enter the palace. But there is a way God does things. God will bring someone. God will allow situations. God will open a door that will take you from one place to another because he's dealing with you and he's allowing you to reach a place where he wants you to be. So when you do not honor God, when you become disobedient to him, you stay in that place for a very long time. Disobedience brings stagnation. My God. My God. Disobedience to God causes stagnation. So when God allowed Jonathan to be a friend of David, he would access the palace. And sometimes... You know, God, there is a way he does his own things. There is a way he allows things to happen. He will allow that your, your colleague, you know, to find, to be found that he has a fault so that God can promote you. My God. And don't feel sorry. Uh -huh. Don't feel sorry because God is aligning you. So when Saul, the demons attacked him, the evil spirits attacked him. There is a gift that was in the hands of David. What gift do you have? What gift is in your hands? Has God called you as a financial or kingdom financier? Has God called you to raise and to help the orphans and the widows? 
As God called you, what gift is in your hands? What gift? What gift is in your hands that God can use? It is that gift that was in the hand of David that caused him to access the things of the palace. Wow. He knew our soul. He knew how to be a king because he sat somewhere. Don't look down on yourself when you're just seated. Don't look down on yourself when you're just seated. God will deal with you and will raise you to a place of kingship. Amen. He says that he raises beauty from ashes. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so what gift do you have? What friends do you have? There are friends who will get you into trouble. There are friends who will lead you to a place of kingship. Hallelujah. There are friends who will lead you to poverty. You get money today, we have to go on vacations. You get money tomorrow, we have to buy this. So the systems of finances are not working in you, are not working in your life. Because God has called you as a kingdom financier instead of taking that money and placing it at the altar, you take it and go to vacations. My God. Wisdom. My God. I say wisdom. Amen. I say wisdom. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Wisdom. Amen. When you have wisdom of God, you will be able to know who is supposed to be in your life and who is supposed to exit. It is not everybody should like you. It is not everybody should love you. It is not a must. Oh yes. It is not a must. Oh, our Father in the Lord says that you have one day to take your phone and delete and remove completely because there are people who are in your contact list who are not of not help at any you know anytime you get money the demon calls somebody from home and there is a problem you know so what is your surrounding what location are you in? Are you in the location where God can reach you and take you to a palace and make you a king? Uh -huh. My God. You are teaching woman of God. Or are you in a place where that next weekend, where are we going? Next weekend, where are we going? What is your location? Your location matters how God can reach you. Your friends matters. Your family matters. You'll be here hustling. And we don't have so by the way. You'll be here working and serving God in your full potential. And then all of a sudden, the bountiful harvest is here. A call from home. Something has happened. We refuse that in the name of Jesus. Name. We refuse it in the name of, Jesus. The name of Jesus. Say, I refuse any evil call. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse any evil call. In the name of Jesus. I accept the call of God. In, the name of in my Jesus. life and in my I family. The call in my God. friends and in my in nation. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus oh, Christ. Yes. So we have to look at who is who in our lives. Oh, yes. So that that which God has placed in your hands, if you're called to be a help uh -huh. to the widows, uh -huh. to the orphans, uh -huh. you will not take your money and service it somewhere else. Speak when your us. blessing is by helping the mm. widows, when your blessing is by helping mm -hmm. the orphans, mm -hmm. are we not called to serve God in that manner? Mm -hmm. You are speaking to us. When God places mm -hmm. a blessing or a gift inside of you, that we, you will not use it to remove money from people's pockets. 
It is not about us. It is about God. Amen. The Bible says that freely I gave, uh -huh. and therefore freely give. Amen. And we are almost taught here by our Father that when it comes to giving, oh, you have yes. to be spiritual. And so there are seasons also that he'll be preaching here and the Holy Spirit can minister to you when you're seated. That give. That time there's an angel. My God. Don't withhold your money. Mm -hmm. Give it to God. Oh, yes. So there has to be a level and a dimension of wisdom. Amen. About your giving. Oh, yes. About the gift that you have. Amen. You see, that gift that David had, it took him to a place of he only sat in a in a small chair mm -hmm. but the king sat in array of glory mm. you know someone can be seated in your place in array of glory but god will place you in a, in that My place god. down there oh yes so that he sees mm. if you if if you if you'll have pride mm. or something he may he may see can i take you to that place uh -huh. I want to remove that evil one seated there to oh place God. you in that array of glory. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So allow God to deal with you. Amen. Allow God to deal with you. Amen. He will take you from a place that you never thought. No man could have placed you where he can place you. No help can take you or place you where he can, he can place you. And so he placed David in the place of glory, in the place of honor, in the place of blessings. You know when you're a king, you access anything and everything you want, even in God's presence, you do. And that's why he has called us as kings Hallelujah. and as priests. Amen. That is what, where, where, what we have been taught. Do you know who you are in Christ? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. So let our lives take the course of Christ. Amen. Let our lives take the course of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let our lives take the course of Christ. Mm. In the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Name. For him to guide us. Amen. To mold us. Amen. To build. To mm. build. To expand. Mm. And to make us his nature. Thank you, Jesus. Allow even his rebuke. Mm -hmm. Do you know, he, David said that, I would rather be rebuked by you, Lord, not by man. Because man can kill you. But God, out of his love, he will mold you in his life. In his life. He will rebuke you, he will punish you, but he will still love you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Put your hands for Jesus. Amen. Put your hands for Jesus. Amen. And so as we say, tell yourself that may the Holy Spirit, tell yourself may the Holy Spirit, may the Holy Spirit get, help you, help me, get over yourself, get over myself. It is not about you. It is not about me. It is about God. 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 Amen. It is about God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lord, we honor you. Thank you, Jesus. Can we stand up and speak in tongues? Ma so kota la bagadi. Man telebo shada baganda. Reke telebo zika la bagada. Tell God to deal with you. You are the
to see you pray. God deal with us with your love. God deal with us with your love, Lord. In the name of Jesus. God deal with us with your love. In the mighty name of Jesus. We allow you to hold us. We allow you to expand us. We allow you to rebuke us. We allow you, Lord, to guide us. We allow you, Lord God Almighty, to lead us to a place of eternity. In the name of Jesus, we allow you, Lord, to make us Christ-like beings. In the mighty name of Jesus, we allow you, Lord, to take charge. upon the throne we can have your seats Amen. when God begins to deal with you or when God has dealt with you he starts to raise to raise an, an anointing inside of you your life is driven either by God or by the enemy there is no in between there is no in between. So it is either God who is driving you knowingly or unknowingly to yourself or the enemy. And therefore there are different types of an anointing that God releases in your life. And one of the anointing is the priestly anointing. As a child of God, you have to reach a place where you understand the priestly anointing stands in the realms of sacrifice. The way our father tells us in the Lord, he tells us that a priestly anointing, a priestly garment, a priestly grace allows you to petition in the realms of sacrifices. And so do I have a witness who is saying, woman of God, even though in our lives, even though in my family, oh, yes. this is what is happening. People are not getting married. Uh -huh. People are not getting wealthy. People are not raised. I stand like a Deborah. 
I stand like David. I wage war. Amen. You have to reach a place where you understand that the grace and the anointing that is upon your life, the priestly anointing Amen. that God has placed in your life, the moment you became his child, Amen. the moment you became his child, oh, yes. he allowed this anointing to dwell in you. You don't have to be dad. You don't have to be mom. You have to stand in the place of prayer and say in the name of Jesus, I rise and I stand on the word of God that says and you refuse that which is standing on your way. You refuse that is standing on your sibling's way. You refuse that is standing on the generation, in your generation's way. In this season and time and era, where evil has become like taking water, you have to rise in the place of sacrifice and raise a sacrifice, raise an altar. You have to have prayer banks. You don't have to always come. We don't have to always be disturbing our father. It is okay for him to bless us. It is okay for him to pray for us. But there is a place you reach. You see sickness in your family. A pattern of a type of sickness that doesn't need to be in your life. That doesn't need to be in your family. Sometimes when I get sick, I am like, Lord, I am going to break the bread. You have to change this. I can't be sick. Why am I becoming sick? Why every time and then I'm having, I am having a headache? Why? There is a place you need to rise and understand the priestly anointing in your life. And you say, I refuse. You say, I refuse because God has dealt with you and because God has raised an anointing in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You have to reach a place where you refuse. You have to reach a place. There is a season in my life. Things were just happening. I was like, God, no, 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 no. If I die, I die. I'm going for a fasting. And if I come back, things must change. So there's a place you reach. And you have to stand in the priestly anointing. Because our father has taught us when. That it is a place of sacrifice. You sacrifice your time. You sacrifice yourself. You sacrifice your food. You sacrifice your phone. You know, you sacrifice the things you love. Sometimes you sacrifice your association with people. You set yourself apart and be in a place where you can sacrifice. And sacrifice brings you to a place of brokenness where God must answer the sacrifice. He has to. He will look at you and say, my child, I don't have any option except to release, except to let you, except to give you the marriage, except to give you the car you want, except to, to give you the finances oh, yes. you want, except Amen. to give it to you. Oh, yes. You have to raise. Amen. We have to raise as a Lohim Embassy Church. Amen. We have to. Mm -hmm. Imagine we are not babes anymore. We are no longer babes. We are no longer taking milk. Allow those who are coming that they may take milk from our father. Allow them. He has taught us from way back what we need to do, how we need to do it. But we are always there in the same position. He told you that the priestly anointing is a place of sacrifice. You don't do it. When you're in this situation, take the bread, take the, the wine. You don't do it. And then you expect that you will change. You expect that things will change in your life. They won't. They won't change. So we have to come to a place where we refuse the system that is not of God. 
that is governing either your family life, your business life, your career life, your health life, you have to come to a place where you say, if I die, I die. But God must change things. And in the same place, when God is still also answering your prayer, he also answers you. He also makes you. There is a way he takes you from one level to another, to another. Levels of glory, not levels of shame. We cannot be in the same, same song, same song from January to December. Our Father in the Lord said, by the time is the seventh month, things might, must have taken place. What can you testify? From the day he declared by the Spirit of the Lord that he, this year is radiating forevermore. What can you attest? Jesus. What can you attest? And so we have to come to a place of where we say, God, I am not going to look at my nation. Daniel had to refuse the things of the king so that he stands in the cup for the children of Israel to be loose. And so we have to stand. It doesn't matter how small you look like. Let me tell you, when you enter the place of prayer, when you enter the place of spirituality, you become something else. You don't become this body that you see. You become something else. Even though David was just a prophet, and you can imagine that time, there was evil in those days. People were worshipping idols, life. They place it, imagine they place it in the city like in Nairobi, and they worship it. People are doing it live. But he said, I will not. In 21 days, I am going to a place of sacrifice. A place of sacrifice. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. There is a season in someone's life when you say, I refuse, mm -hmm. I refuse, oh, yes. this cannot happen when I know who I am in Christ. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And so in the place of sacrifice, God releases the prophetic and the apostolic. God releases the prophetic and the apostolic. We were told that it is by prayer and fasting. And the fastings is the prophetic. And the, and the, and the prayer is the apostolic. So when you enter into a place of prophetic, it is decree, I decree, and I declare. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It is I decree and I declare. Uh -huh. When you enter a place of apostolic, which is prayer, it is negotiating. You negotiate in the realm of the spirit. You negotiate. We were taught about the courts of heavens. We were taught about the courts of heavens. Have you made use of it? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to read the book of Revelation 1 6. Revelation 1 6. The Lord is our strength. The Lord is our help. The Lord is our help. Revelation 1 6. The Bible says, And he has made us kings and priests to his God and Father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever Amen Praise the name of the Lord He has made us kings and priests to our Father So you can imagine what Christ did when you did not even have a place where you can negotiate where you can enter into a realm. Christ came and he placed us in a place of priesthood where you can enter at any time and negotiate things. There are times during the day, sometimes a sleep can just come.
come over me. And I know God wants to show me something. There's a place you can reach and tell God, I only have five minutes with you, Lord. Something has to happen. Something has to be burned. Praise the name of the Lord. And so he has made us kings. He has made us priests. Hallelujah. To him be the glory and dominion. When God releases this anointing, it is just glory that is overflowing. And then dominion. You dominate. You dominate. And so something else that is burst is the kingly anointing. The kingly anointing. The kingly anointing. The kingly anointing. So when God is dealing with you, like he dealt with his servant David, a kingly anointing is birthed in your life. And this anointing pushes you to a place where you wage war. Now it is not the place of sacrifice. It is a place where you wage war. You wage war. You wage war. That time is not a place where you pray the prayers of sacrifice. It is a place where you arise and tell God, like Psalms 109, Father, let their families become desolate. That time you wage war, and it doesn't matter who has, uh, who has thrown an arrow to you, it doesn't matter. Let him find them. So it is a place where you wage war. It is a place where you decree. When God raised his prophet Jeremiah, he said that I place upon you an anointing where you can uproot and plant and decree and it becomes. And so, when God allows that anointing to dwell in you, it dwells in you or it comes upon you so that you're safe. So that that blessing he has given you, you're able to protect it in prayer. It is able to be taken from one generation to another. When God gave Abraham generational wealth, he didn't just give him for himself. He gave him to generations because Abraham, his servant, understood the kingly anointing when he took the 10% of it to them to Mel Melchizedek. And so we have to reach a place where Amen. we understand that I take this tithe, mm -hmm. this tithe will fight for me. Oh, yes. I take this seed, mm -hmm. this seed will fight for me. I, read, I give my offering mm -hmm. because there is seed and harvest time. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And so the kingly anointing enables you to wage war. So if the children of this world, if the, if the sons of this world, they know to do these things, how about you? Sembuse wewe. Unejua neno la mungu. It has been brought to you. You know? Our father says that there is a time that is coming that when this word, it will not be available for all. So this time, let's make use of it when it is available for us. When it is available for us as the Lohim Embassy Church. You wage war. You wage war. You wage war with what you have. You wage war in prayer. You wage war with the scripture. Jesus. Amen. You wage war. Amen. You wage war. Let's look in the book of Revelation 5.10. In the book of Revelation 5.10. 5.10. Yes. And have made us unto our God kings and priests, mm -hmm. and we shall lean on the earth. Mm -hmm. And I beheld, Amen. and I heard the voice of many angels mm -hmm. allowed 
loud about the throne and the beast and the elders. Amen. And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000. Amen. And thousands and thousands. So when you enter into a place of kingly anointing, mm -hmm. he makes you to reign. Mm -hmm. Amen. Kings reign. Oh, yes. Kings reign. Amen. So you have to understand as a child of God, I must reign in this I area. I must reign in Jesus' name. You cannot be in a place of work and they are disturbing you left, right and center. Oh, yes. Do you know who you are? Mm -hmm. You cannot be in your home and there is a witch in your home. Mm -hmm. You have to stand and rise. Oh, Jesus. Amen. You have to. God is not dealing with you just to allow you to fulfill a certain purpose. There is a place he places you. Amen. It doesn't matter what kind of job you're oh, doing. Yes. There are people who have been called. Let me tell you. They're just selling vegetables. Mm -hmm. But they're making millions from those vegetables. Mm -hmm. They're just selling meat. And they're making millions. So when God calls you, he calls you to a place of reigning, not to a place of, of struggle, Amen. not to a place of struggle. Oh, yes. He's calling you to reign in that area. Amen. Our father said that we have different, uh, 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 we have different sectors in this nation. So when God has placed a sector upon your head, you have to declare to yourself, Father, I have to reign. Amen. Say, Father, Father, I have to reign. I have to reign. You have placed it upon me. You have placed it upon me. Kingly anointing. Kingly anointing. And therefore, in every sector, in every sector, that Lord, you have allowed me to enter. That Lord, you have allowed me to enter. I have to reign. I have to reign. I have to reign. I have to. Place reign. your hand on your head. Amen. Say, I have to reign. I have to reign. I have to reign. I have to reign. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And so another anointing that comes upon you is the servanthood anointing. Amen. The servanthood anointing. I want us to read the book of John 13, 12 to 16. John 13, 12 to 16. Yes. So after he had washed their feet mm -hmm. and, had, and had taken his garment mm -hmm. and was set down again, mm -hmm. he said unto them, mm -hmm. Do you know what I have done to you? Mm -hmm. Ye call me Master mm -hmm. and Lord, mm -hmm. and you say well, mm -hmm. for so I am. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So this is the season where our Lord Jesus was preparing his disciples and when you read up there it is the seed of the is the parable of the sower praise the name of the Lord amen is the parable of a servant sorry and so when Christ was washing their feet mm. it symbolized humility mm -hmm. he is the master but he brought himself to a place of a servant. Amen. To a place of a servant. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. To a place of a servant. Mm -hmm. And so there are places that you cannot access. There are places that you cannot have access. But you can only access them by becoming a servant. There is an anointing, there is a grace. There is a dimension that you cannot access. But you can only access it by only becoming a servant. And so if Christ did that as an example, so who are we that we cannot do? When you want to raise in places of kingship and rulership and priesthood, you first have to become a servant. Amen. Amen. And servanthood, there are doors that can open mm -hmm. just by serving. Can you imagine you're serving our father, you're serving him, you're serving him, you're serving him. 
one day Amen. he just stands Amen. and releases it. Amen. He releases it Amen. and nobody oh, yes. can stand that anointing. Oh, yes. So there's a place where God wants us to be and therefore he can only allow you to be at that place if you only know how to serve. Are you serving God genuinely? Are you serving God intellectually? Are you serving God the way he wants to be served? The other Sunday here, things were just going the way they want. Things were just going the way they want. But the Holy Spirit rebuked us. And so we have to reach a place where we serve. We should know who our father is. We should know who our mother is. We should know who they are. They're not just mere men. They, are be, they may be mere men in clothes and flesh that we see them. But they're in, a, in, in a, a glory that you need to serve. You need to serve. You need to serve. God has called you as an usher. Serve. God has called you as a priest, serve. Amen. God has called you as a worshiper, serve. Amen. God has called you as a financial, kingdom financial. Don't look who is contributing or not. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And so this anointing opens certain doors, servanthood. It makes you to be in a place of brokenness. And is it not God who said that that the sacrifices that he accepts is a spirit that is a contrite, that has a contrite heart. A humility spirit. A spirit that is a, have a contrite heart. So you cannot be in a place where you have pride. Even in the place of work. You can't be promoted when you are in pride. When you know it all, when you cannot be told. I just told you a few minutes ago that David had to sit in a very small chair to look and see how a ray of glory in kingship looks like. And so we need to understand that there is a place that you can only access by serving. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And therefore, the another anointing is friendship anointing. Friendship anointing. I want us to look in the book of John 15, 15. Thank you, Jesus. John 15, 15. John 15, 15, and the Bible says, No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you in a place where that you have built your relationship with God? That you've reached to a place where you're no longer a servant, but a friend. Uh -huh. That he says he reveals his things to whom he wants to. Have you in, are you in a place where that he says unto Moses, I speak to him face to face. Uh -huh. Are you in a place where you've reached and, 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 and it's like the way he said that I love David because he's the man after my heart. Uh -huh. And so Christ came and made the disciples and it reached to a place where he no longer calls them servants but he calls them friends because there is a level of, of, of revelation you cannot attain by being a servant. It is revealed to you when you're a friend. My God. And we know there are different friendships. We know that there, that there are acquaintances. We know that there is the circle, that there is an inner circle. And so, God 
He says that deep calleth unto deep. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Deep calleth unto deep. Mm -hmm. And this is a place of friendship. Mm -hmm. This is when God talks to you. Mm -hmm. When God reveals things to you that are to come. My God. Before they happen, you know them. It is not a surprise to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So when God deals with you, there is a friendship anointing Amen. that he, release, he releases upon your life. Amen. So you have to, to, to grow from one place of an anointing to another. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to grow from one place of an anointing to another. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So are we ready for God to release his anointing on us today? Yes. Turn to your neighbor. Ask your neighbor, are you ready for God to release his kingly anointing? Are you ready for God to release his priestly anointing? Are you ready for God to release his friendship anointing? His servanthood anointing on yes. you? Yes. Oh, yes. Your name is the highest. Your name is the greatest. Your name stands above them all. Above all their thrones and dominions. Your name is the highest. Your name stands above them all the name of the lord stands above any throne any dominion any power and that's why he says that he has released upon us dominion and glory amen. praise the name of the lord amen praise the name of the lord amen and therefore our father in all this the much he loves us the much he delights in seeing his anointings working in our lives. He does not tolerate weaknesses. He does not tolerate weaknesses. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He does not tolerate weaknesses. He does not tolerate weaknesses. He doesn't tolerate weaknesses. So don't take joy in the weakness that you're in. Don't take joy. Don't take joy. You have to cry to God that, Father, I need this thing out. I cannot operate in the anointings that you've released upon my life, in your word. I cannot afford to stand in your word in a place where of sacrifices in a place where of apostolic even this way and it's not about the altar it is about your personal life and the purpose that he has called you to be so if God has called us in his character he doesn't tolerate Amen. weaknesses he gave his son so that any deficiency in us Amen. can be removed praise the name of the Lord Amen any deficiency in us can be removed. Oh, yes. He reconciled himself to us. He reconciled himself to us. And his word brings us to a place of victorious living. Oh, yes. When he deals with us, he releases his anointing to us. He releases his power and ability he raises, to, he raises you to realms of glory. He raises you not for you to brag about it. But even for the world to know, for sure this is a child of God. For sure this is a child of God. And he brings you to a place of victorious living. Hallelujah. Amen. He brings you to a place of his world and personal growth. And obedience to the Holy Ghost. Even your attitude changes. Mm -hmm. The way you see people. Mm -hmm. Your attitude towards things. Mm -hmm. 
you will see a problem coming and you already know. Amen. You already know how Amen. it will end. You already know. And therefore you will not stagger in faith. You will not be put down by the enemy because you already know the end of the matter. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we enjoying the teaching? Oh, yes, we are. Are you being blessed by the teaching? Oh, yes, we are blessed. Or am I just saying things? No, no, no. We are you are being blessed? blessed. No. Is the Holy Spirit ministering to us all? Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so grateful Amen. to God. Amen. I want us to read Psalms 119, 65 to 72. Psalms 119, uh -huh. 65. Uh -huh. The Bible says, uh -huh. You have dealt well with your servant, uh -huh. O Lord, uh -huh. according unto your word. Uh -huh. Teach me good judgment uh -huh. and knowledge, uh -huh. for I have believed your commandments. Uh -huh. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, uh -huh. but now I have kept your word. Amen. Amen. But now I have kept your word. And, and Paul said that I have run my race. When God deals with you, he deals with you to a place where you reach and say, Lord, I have run my race. Lord, I have run my race. Amen. And so he teaches you. He trains you. He, de he develops you to a place of productivity and maturity. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And just to read 2 Timothy 3.16. About to wrap up. 2 Timothy 3.16 to 17. 3.16 all scripture is given by inspiration of God. Amen. And is profitable for doctrine. Amen. For reproof. Amen. For collection. Oh, yes. For instruction in righteousness. Amen. Amen. So the word of God becomes beneficial to us. Amen. It becomes beneficial. You will just not have an anointing and just roaming around. No. It will become beneficial to you. When you're living your purpose, mm. day and night, you are desiring to have the word of God. You are desiring to dine the word of God. For it nourishes your spirit. And therefore it corrects you, teaches us, and rebukes you. Can you imagine delighting when God, you know, when God rebukes you? When God rebukes you? And you say, Father, I am happy you're doing this to me. I don't need this, but I am happy with what you're doing to me. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So the end goal is to equip us, to prepare us, to train us to do right. Amen. Teaching us from either the right or the wrong. Amen. So whatever right happens... There is a teaching. Amen. Whatever wrong happens, oh, yes. there is a teaching. Amen. There is something to learn from everything and everyone. In the book of Proverbs, it says, even how they, they, they're called termites, how they do their things, there is something to learn from them. The way they organize themselves. The way they put themselves in organization, the way they put it's like an, an entire kingdom mm. and on how to work. Oh, yes. And there is no one who is supervising mm. them. But they do it. My God. So you reach a place where it becomes automatic in you. It becomes automatic in you. Amen. It becomes automatic in you. Amen. And which affects our attitudes. Mm our feelings, our actions, our behavior, they change. Amen. They change. Amen. They change. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen.
so the word of God deals with us with his goodness the goodness of the Lord the goodness of the Lord the goodness of the Lord hallelujah in the land of the living amen the goodness of the Lord hallelujah in the land of the living amen I want us to read the book of Zechariah 4 6 Zechariah 4 6. Zechariah 4 6. The Bible says, Then he answered and spoke unto me, mm -hmm. saying, mm -hmm. This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, Amen. saying, Amen. Not by might, mm -hmm. nor by power, mm -hmm. but by my spirit, oh, yes. says the Lord of hosts. Amen. Amen. Not by might, not by power, Amen. but my spirit says the Lord. Amen. Our mindset must change. Amen. That we know it is by his spirit. Amen. That we know it is by his power. Oh yes. That he know, we know it, we can only do all things mm. through him. Oh yes. Through him. Oh yes. Through him. Amen. 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 John 14:26. John 14, 26. John 14, 26. Mm -hmm. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. whom the Father will set in my name, mm -hmm. he shall teach you all things mm -hmm. and bring all things mm -hmm. to your remembrance. Amen. Wh whatsoever I have said unto you. Amen. Amen. So the Holy Spirit, when Christ ascended, he said that stay, be still in this place. Be still in this place. Oh, yes. I'll allow him to come. And even he told the disciples, if you do not allow me to go, who is supposed to come won't come. So that everything be manifested in him. And so we reach a place where he is our helper Amen. and our teacher. Amen. And when he becomes our mm. teacher, oh, yes. you have to follow. Amen. When he helps you, mm. you have to cut off anything that is not of God. Amen. Anything that is ungodly. Hallelujah. Anything that does not gratify Amen. him. Anything that does not lift him. Amen. Anything that does not lift his name. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. God deals with us in all things that we go through. Mm. Let me tell you one thing. Mm. In everything that you go through as a believer, oh, yes. or even as a child, mm. everything mm. you go through for his glory. Amen. You go through for his glory. You go through for his glory. So the oil of God removes, removes that which is not of God. In the olden times, oil was used to remove parasites uh -huh. in the livestock. And so when the oil of God is on you, it removes and removes and removes that which is not godly. So it doesn't matter what you go through. It doesn't matter. What matters is I am becoming a Christ-like. Amen. I am becoming a Christ-like. Oh, yes. Say with me, I am becoming Christ-like. I am becoming Christ-like. God is dealing with me. Amen. Dealing with I am becoming Christ-like. I am becoming Christ-like. In the name of Jesus. In the name of so Jesus. So in trouble and hardship, he draws us to himself. Oh, yes. You know, when you're a child of God, anything you go through, whether good or bad, always to, to the father always at his feet when Mary and mother heard that Jesus was coming there is the one that who went to the kitchen there is the one who sat at his feet mm -hmm. where are you? Mm -hmm. where are you? hallelujah Amen. where are you? so you choose where to sit if you want to be in the, in the kitchen you will be always complaining. Mary is not coming to help me. You need to sit at the feet. 
in good times at their feet, in bad times at their feet, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hebrews 12, 5. Hebrews 12, 5. Hebrews 12, 5. And you have forgotten the exhortation which speaks to you mm -hmm. as to sons. Mm -hmm. My son, mm -hmm. do not despise the chastening of the Lord, mm -hmm. nor be discouraged when you are rebuked by him. Mm -hmm. Some things can be avoided by obedience. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Some things can be avoided by obedience Hallelujah. to God. Amen. So obedience leads you to a place of where God says that this is a man after my heart. And therefore he ensures that he makes even your enemies to be at peace with you. Because he has dealt with you and you have known to stay at his feet. You have known to stay at his feet until he says that this is the man after my own heart. And therefore I stop. Any enemy is raising against you. So he makes them to be at peace with you. Amen. He makes them Amen. to be at peace with you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so the desire Goal. The end of it is that all that desires God, all that desires God, mm. all that happens to us, mm. all that we run to Him, everything that takes us to Him, we are saying that in the good and the bad, everything that takes us to Him, everything takes us to Him, the end goal is that we may have an eternal life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We may have an eternal life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Through our positive thinking and everything. Everything that concerns us. Everything. When God deals with us, we reach a place where it is no longer high who lives, but Christ who lives in me. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Stand up in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Are we in the mood of prayer? Can somebody attest that God has dealt with me? Can somebody attest that God has dealt with me? Can somebody say God has dealt with me? Can somebody testify that God's dealings is taking me to a place of eternity? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I want us to pray. I want us to pray. Can we be spiritual and be in, in, in the church? Let's be in the church. Let's be in the church. The Holy Spirit is our help. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we honor you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you know who you are thanking, I want to hear your voice. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So repeat after me. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Reset the foundations. Reset the foundations. In every area of my life. In every area of my life. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Reset the foundation. Reset the foundations. Of every area in my life. Of every area in because my life. Because God, you have dealt with me. Because God, you have dealt Somebody with me. Somebody pray in the name of Jesus. I want to hear you pray in the name of Jesus. May God deal with every foundation. May God reset every foundation. May God reset every foundation. In the mighty name of Jesus. May God reset every foundation. Le 
Oh Lord, reset the foundations of my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, reset the foundations of Elohim Embassy Church. According to your word. According to your word. According to your word. Somebody pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost. I want to hear you pray. I want to hear you pray. I want to hear you pray. The foundation must be reset. The foundation must be reset. The foundation of your marriage must be reset. The foundation of your career must be reset. The foundation of your calling must be reset. The foundation of your giftings must be reset. The foundation must be reset. Must be reset. For God has dealt with us. For God has dealt with us. The foundations must be reset. The foundations must be reset. I want to hear somebody pray. I want to hear prayers. I want to hear you firing a prayer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to hear prayer. In the name of Jesus. Every foundation of our lives. Every foundation of Elohim members to church oh, yes. must be reset. Must be reset. Must be reset. The foundations of our finances. The foundations of our finances. The foundations of our finances must be reset in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. According to the word of God. For he has dealt with us. In the mighty name of Jesus must be reset oh, yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and I declare. Oh, yes. I want you to say after me, I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus That Christ. my assignments are redefined. That my assignments are redefined. That my assignments are redefined. That my assignments are redefined. Because God has dwelt with me. Because God has dwelt with me. Because God has dealt with me. Because God has dealt with me. I want to hear you pray in the name of Jesus. I want to hear prayers. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. I want to hear prayer in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Pray somebody. 
pray somebody in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus you know when you're told to pray you're not praying to the man or woman of God you're praying to your God oh yes I've just told you that there is a place you reach that God takes you into consecration God takes you into a place of being alone so that in that place he handles you in prayer and I've told you that prayer takes you from one level to another there are dimensions of prayer there is a time that you can pray five minutes there is a time that you can pray an hour there is a time that you just decree there is a time that you are walking seven hours and you're praying Elohim Embassy Church we need to pray Amen. oh Lord Position me, position me in the path of your will. In the path of your will. In the name of Jesus. 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 Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Position me. Position me. Position me. Position in the path of your will. In the path of Raise somebody. In the name of Jesus. Maka telebosha. Maka tora bazeya. Maka tola bagade. Leke telebosha dia. Position, oh God, position this church, oh God, to where God you want it to be. Position the altar of the Lord Member to church to where God you want it to be. In the mighty name of Jesus, position our lives. In the name of Jesus, position our lives for location matters. In the name of Jesus, Maka Telebosa, Maka Telebosa, Maka Rosita Libagami. Ekalibasi ketelebosi, mashata kado se telebosi, makata libaka nelebosa. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want us to pray a prayer of our households. That let everything concerning me and my household align in the name of Jesus Christ, according to God's word. Things need to align. Praise the name of the Lord. Things need to align according to the word of God. So we pray in the name of Jesus that, Oh God, because you have dealt with me, may things align. My household, may things align. May things align. May every area of their lives align. In the name of Jesus. Fire our prayer in the name of Jesus. Say a prayer in the name of Jesus. Maka tora bosa, leke tele bosa, leke tele I want to hear you praying. Reka tala bosa, rima seke de, reke tele bosia, katala bagade ya, katala bagadosa, kari kato se de, me kato riba se ya, liba kato ramasaya. Riba baka de se de ke de, e sataya, e satara bosa. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, say oh Lord, let any part of me, in my consciousness, and in my subconsciousness. Be Christ-like. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Makalebo sitara bagade. Shakato la bazika dosa. Manta la bosa ketele bosia. Rebaka dose tele bobosa. Masa de kedegen tele bosia. In the name of Jesus. Lord, your end goal is us to be Christ-like. May everything that aligns, may everything the Lord in Elohim Embassy Church be Christ-like in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, may our service to you be Christ-like in the name of Jesus. Lord, any doctrine that is not of you, we set ablaze by the Father Holy Ghost 
in the mighty name of Jesus. May we be Christ-like in the name of Jesus. Whatever we find ourselves in, as the church, may we be Christ-like in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, cause all that concerns me. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Cause all that concerns me. 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 Give you glory. Give you glory. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Cause my lifestyle. Cause my lifestyle. Be Christ like. Be Christ like. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Somebody Jesus. Somebody pray in Jesus' name. Father, I pray. The Lord 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 everything that concerns Elohim and Basicha give you glory in the name of Jesus. May it give you glory. May it give you glory. May it give you glory. May this answer give you glory. May this answer give you glory. May this answer give you glory. May Elohim and Basi Church give you glory in the body of Christ. May it give you glory in the mighty name of Jesus. May it give you glory. In Jesus' name. You know, we require things to be alive. A blessing can be around you and it's not alive. There, there needs to be a star stir up in the spirit. Things to be stirred up by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Mm. The breath of Christ needs to breathe for things you, you know, how many times have you been prophesied? I see a car. It's not appearing. Mm -hmm. I see a business. The breath of, class, uh -huh. of Christ needs to breathe on it. Because from the time of creation, it is the breath that gave life. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And even the mission, the vision of our church, mm. the vision of our church, oh, it yes. speaks, and, and the mission of our church, it speaks about the breath of Christ. Oh, yes. It speaks about the breath of Christ. Mm. So I want us to pray Amen. that, oh Lord, oh, yes. let mm. your breath Breathe upon my finances. Amen. Breathe upon my health. Amen. Breathe upon my blessings. Oh yes. Breathe upon my breakthroughs. Oh yes. Breathe upon my miracles. Oh yes. Somebody pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let your breath take charge in this church. Oh Lord, let your breath take charge in the heart of a no human church. Oh Lord, let your breath take charge in Jesus' name. Father, we honor you. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you that you are in our midst. Oh, yes, Lord. In the mighty name of, Jesus. The name of Jesus. Are we blessed? Oh, yes. Are we blessed? Oh, yes. Are we blessed? We are blessed. It is time for offering. Amen. It is time for offering. And even as we offer to God, we know it is a way of worship. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Before we get a, a number, mm. I want us to read the book of Genesis mm. 8.22. Amen. Genesis 8.22. Genesis 8.22. Genesis 8.22. Mm -hmm. While the earth remained, mm -hmm. seed time and harvest, mm -hmm and cold and heat, mm -hmm. and summer and winter, mm -hmm. and day and night mm -hmm. shall not cease. Shall not cease. Amen. So when you're giving, mm. just know mm. it is a seed mm -hmm. that you're giving. Amen. And that seed is an act 
of worship. Mm. Imagine telling God, you've given me all this money. You've given me all this wealth. But Lord, I bring it to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But Lord, I bring it to you. Can Amen. you imagine how God is happy with you giving, with your giving, mm. with your tithes, with your offering? Mm. So I want us to give. Mm. I also want us to read Matthew. One more. Matthew 13, verse 23. Matthew 13, verse 23. I think it is the, it, it talks about uh, the parable of the sower. Mm. So some seeds fell on the good ground. Some, feed, some seeds fell on the, on the, on the uh, thorns. Some seeds fell on the stones. So where is your seed falling? Where are you placing your seed? Are you placing it on the good ground? You know, the Bible says that even when seed and harvest time remains, the soil, it also matters where you're placing it. It matters where you're placing it. You will not have bountiful harvest in a hundredfold, in sixtyfold. You know, if you have not placed it in a place where the soil is not productive. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So, for those who are giving online, uh, our till number is 9170405. And for those who are giving through our pay bill, it will run down on your screen there in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can we worship or praise in the name of Jesus? Amen.